Well, welcome back everybody to the well the second was well, supposed to be the third match, but we'll have, be having the second match of today today between basically unknown at my insanity. My insanity has shown as a Dragon Knight strat this game before versus Dusa, and they were able to just clean the house with it. And we'll see what they have in store for us now. They first have, of course, again the DK, and let's see what they have next. Dragon Man, what do you think of the again another dragon? <laughs> Well, you know me, I love dragons, I love Dragonite, I love Chakiro. Two of, my, two of my favorite heroes. I, mean, I haven't played Dragonite in quite a while, but I definitely love playing Chakiro for sure. Oh, me so, yeah, more dragons. Definitely gonna have a good game here. And... We need Chakiro. <laughs> you have to pick Chakiro now, then go fall in love with them. Um, but of course, the Magnus Ban from My Insanity. Um, definitely a targeted ban up against Basically Unknown. If, if Arise, in fact, uh, one of these players. Oh, it would be dumpster player, I believe. Yeah, I would assume um, as well. Yeah, just, we're just gonna go with that. And I'm a big Arise fan, and he's been known for his Magnus rivaling with the top Magnus players here uh, in the whole Dota world. And every good player, fun guy to to talk to as well. So big fan of him. Big fan of my insanity as well, though. So <laughs> really, yeah. really torn, really torn. But yeah, they're gonna go with the same strat. Looks like here, Lashrak also picked up. And together with the Dragon Knight, and oh. yeah, we'll see what basically unknown yeah. has to answer for that. And they do have the Sky of Mage Zeus combination, so man. lots of magic damage gonna come out from them already. Yeah, they should be able to punish the last frag with that quite heavily. Because again, you do have the GK, of course, again on the front lines. He's a tough target to go to a bit. If you can go through him with the Zeus, it's quite easy. You can hit the back lines. And if you can wrap around him somehow and get to the last frag, it should be easy. But the problem yeah. is, yeah. How do you get there? This last game, Gogi was pretty much untouched and uncontested for that matter. Yeah. I mean, Dragon Act works really well as a teamfight anchor, so to speak. I mean, he's there in the front lines, he's, he's forcing everyone to focus him instead of anyone else. But if basically unknown managed to out, outmaneuver my insanity here, get to Lash Racket and back. I mean, we saw them in the last game from Dusa. The one time where they. Um, Got a good fissure on Lashrak when he was straight up in the middle of the fight. They were able to bring him down pretty damn quickly, even, even though he, he suicided then with the Bloodstone, which is another matter entirely, 50 minutes in. But, but yeah, you, you can see the weakness of the Lashrak there. If you can get to him, then he's really easy to bring down. I mean, especially with the Scarf Mage Zeus combination. Yeah, uh, even Scarf Mage alone, if he gets a slow off, if, his, if Lashrak is stunned a little bit, with the Ancient Seal plus Mystic Flare plus Lina. Long Range Artillery from the Zeus. Just Lina. Plus Lina, yeah. <laughs> They're going heavy on the magic damage here, and I love that. Yeah, this this is the this is the way to go versus Dash Rack, I want to say. Same as with the Chantra's pick, I believe it's coming back a little bit. It's the same with him, like, uh, Lash Rack and Enchantress are if he can just burst them down, which is quite easily to do. Yeah. Then they offer nothing anymore because they're dead, and that's the one pro big problem they have, which makes them a bit of a hard pick to, to go with, but... We'll see what my Santi will do uh, first, basically, on them now. Because they are a bit better than uh, Dusa, I would say. So, I think um, this is going to be tough. Yeah. I, want, I want to say basically on Well, the cool thing about this tournament is that all of these teams, I would, I would rate them on a similar level. I mean, some, of course, I have more experience yeah. in the... Uh, okay. Than others and are definitely rated higher, but, but overall, if, if you look at all the lineups, there's so much talent here, there's so much... Uh, this is a good pool to, to develop from. teams, yeah. Yeah, like... Just, I like that myself as well, like, just have... You now, of course, you want to have, like, a Team Secret and Cloud9, Team Empire, you know, playing with <laughs> you, but, you know, being able to host all these great up-and-coming teams. I mean, just look at Group B. Lot on Conspiracy, Goomba Gaming, Game Online, Scary Faces. Five I mean, that's remaining. a group of death, so to speak, here for Tier 2 teams, uh, I yeah. would say. And then Group C, Lemon Dogs, Balkan Bears, Vega Squadron. Group yeah. B with Power Rangers, even, Moscow 5. I mean, those aren't bad teams, not by a long shot. Oh, like, Rise Gaming and XPC are going to have a tough time there. Yeah. <laughs> that's group a... D is maybe the, uh, the easiest to call, I would say. Yeah. But, of course, all of them are BO1s, and... With the new patch just being out, it's, yeah, everybody is still feeling the ground. Like, what do we, what can you do? What, what, what will work? And yeah, this this the patch or patch uh, patches in general. This is the time for for these teams to prove that they have a better understanding of the game. That they, uh, if they're willing to try new things, and if they, um, 
Dire team. Yeah, think of these strats and execute them that no one has ever seen. Then of course they can take gains from the, from the best of them. Just how Dota works. I mean, so that's now their chance to show us what they can do to <clears throat> put the put their names on the map, so to speak, on yeah. a tournament that has a good amount of prize pool. I think that we'll see like the most experimental drafts Five once a team has won two games. I think they will go ex experimental, or maybe once the Bo threes arrive. Then, because before that, you are actually still playing for yeah. 5,000 euros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to be put out in the first round because you did something too experimental. Yeah, yeah. That might be a little bit uh, overzealous. But, but it depends on who you're up against, though, yeah. I would say. That's true. Really, I, I think Power Rangers and Moscow 5, they will be experimenting. Yep. But yeah. Oh, Medusa. Well, that's... Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen that in this patch yet, but then again, I haven't seen too many yeah. <laughs> games in this patch. Have you been able to um, play a couple of matches has. yourself, by the way? Yeah, yeah, played played a lot of uh, a bit of matchmaking, a bit of in houses against some other people. Yeah, uh, but haven't haven't seen Medusa there yet either. So uh, it's a lot of things that I think you can do with that hero. I don't think can... <laughs> it changed. That's completely uh, sure. Medusa didn't didn't change, but um, I can double check yeah. real quick. Uh, split shot mana shield no longer removed on death, so basically if you it's a little bit of a buff to the ages, so you automatically have the mana shield on. So it can't really get bursted down too quickly with the well time stun after Five ages respawn, but that's about it. Um yeah, to but think that's of... not really that's not really something. I think that's just something that should be there always, yeah. like you yeah. die, you just keep the same Master. things on. Yeah, it's, it's more of a bug fix than anything else. I, I'm trying to think of um, any interaction with Medusa with the new items, but... You could put uh, like a Lotus on her and makes her yeah. even more annoying to kill. A green orb isn't good on her. I want to no. The Solar Actually, Crest maybe would be a good support item to also buff her up, so... Yeah, but... Yeah, but things Master. to make her even more tanky without her having... being 6 slotted, so to speak. Yeah, but you have Beastmaster. It's a hero who, I would say, is able to pick up the Solar Crest. But I yeah. don't think it will be a first we'll item. Uh, Maybe a little bit. Yeah. On, even later yeah. on, the what you get from the item is still a lot. So. Might just go for uh, upgraded boots, then into a medallion, then maybe blank dagger or an Aghanim scepter, depending on what he wants to go for, and then pick up the solar crust later. So of course, there's <laughs> there's plenty of ways that you can go, and no one really knows yet what's what's a good approach. But what is good is the beast mouse in general. He's been picked up pretty often here. Uh, from all the games that I've seen, and uh, yeah, changes to the war, a little bit of extra X damage speed. on that, and wild axes with a lower cast point. A minor just, burst. Yeah, it's just minor buffs. I mean, it's maybe just one of these things where Ice, Ice Rock just buffs the heroes that uh, uh, have always been good, but have out of happen out of the public eye. So you just put a minor buff on them, so people remember, hey, yeah, that's a hero. We can pick that up. Yeah. It's actually pretty good because hey, free wi free vision. Right? A good lane oh, to Fisher the splitting them up. Oh, they have to eat their way out here ASAP. There's gonna be the lightning strike away. However, oh, Nikabe is actually taking a lot of damage. Milan is he gonna fall through this? No, he is not. It's actually gonna be the Zeus falling first on the name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, I think it's Stomane or something. Stomane. Stomane. It's, yeah, it's always easier if they play on their real names. Huh? Look at them eating tangos. <laughs> it's listed as Stormanen on, on John Dota. So. Oh, okay, so many. Nothing along those lines, but yeah. yeah. It's tough, but at least it, it's the first blood already going to wave my insanity. Oh. That's good for them. <laughs> like, they did a five man rotation for it, though, but the only thing what Unknown got back for it is a ward on top, and I believe also the bounty room for mind control. Yeah. At least my controls having a good day. Well, maybe soon, not anymore. No, he uh, knows it. Yeah. I mean, if he gets blocked off by a fissure now, then that would be very bad, but... <laughs> yeah, well, he <laughs> will be! <laughs> oh, Spit Earth misses, so though! Things, so. so he's just gonna run away the other side. He has his boots, so he's really fast. But the boar will be killed. Yeah, that's... that's not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of action already, so... Let's take a quick look at the lineup, I would say. Yeah, let's do that. We have his... what? Oh, Bunera. What? Did he play on a different name before? Uh, he was Mitch. He was. He yeah, had the Mitch. same name before. It wasn't oh his assassin. Yeah. And I said, "Hey, he's Mitch." So yeah. He said, "Like, oh God, thank God, that's the name I can pronounce." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forget that from time to time. I'm, I'm really poor with names sometimes. I, I like it uh, when I just I have their names. 
Yeah, oh. I'm from the same way, really. Yeah. Oh, mid lane is getting caught out a little bit. On the tree and protector on the bot as a support. Together with Mitch. And they're playing versus Nico Baby on the Medusa. Which is gonna take some time in this meta to really adjust because it's a, it's a fighting meta. I'm, I'm not completely sure how Medusa will fit in there. Milan taking some more damage. Oh, Mystic Snake! And let's hit! Yeah, it's gonna kill him off. Whoa. <laughs> that was really close. And now they go for Mitch. He's. But yeah, he's gonna be fine. We'll finish it up with. You can say Zeus and Pure Evil on Skyref. I forgot it. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up myself. I actually have the names here. Pure Evil, right? No, it actually is the same name on the, on Dota, but it's actually really hard for me. Yeah, that, that's the proper name, so... So, if someone Good tells ones. me for what the name is on the chat... It'd be good. But yeah. And, oh yeah, we of course have Mind Control on the, the Beastmaster, the Dumpster Player on the Lina, and uh, Slash Strike on Dragonite. And we have Gringy on the uh, Earthshake and Gogi again on Slash Wreck. So let's just finish it up. A little bit late, but it's fine. Yep. Yeah, Gogi once again getting essentially free final up here. I mean, uh, Grizzly is just doing a good job shutting down mind control. He just by being there. I mean, that's a great thing about an Earth Shaker. Mind control goes p uh, past his past his line essentially here. Then there's a fissure, and then there's yeah. Gogi just a lightning storming. And, I don't know there's a fissure now, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's a bit far. Not the right angle. He just wants to use a clarity. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and we have a pass coming out from Nameless. Tactical pause. No. Okay. A dumpster player is a rise. Oh, Stoman. Stoman. Okay. Stoman. Yeah. Stoman. Stoman. I'm actually gonna write this. Might be easy for. Yeah. Thanks for the confirmation, chat. Uh, that dumpster player is indeed a rise. I could not check his in-game profile. Yeah, most of them are private. private. But, yeah. Yeah. So. They actually I'm pretty German. What? That was really German, Stoman. Uh, not really. Might just be because I'm Dutch. <laughs> Everything uh, that sounds even close to East Europe, you already put it. Close to especially. <laughs> it's just me. And they go again. Okay. Real impossible yes. stuff. Um, speaking of Rise now, um, unsurprisingly, he's kind of winning his mid lane. Crushing, so to speak. I mean, yeah, winning was expected. I mean. Yeah, crushing. Nice try. He does have his ball though. Yeah, a little bit more. It's a, that's always the the thing with the dragon. It's kind of the standard way this that this lane evolves. I mean, he he will be able to survive thanks to dragon blood. He will be able to get a couple of blast hits thanks to dragon's breath. But he should be able to win the lane up against pretty much any ranged hero, especially not someone with a long range like Lina and a good harassment potential of her own with the dragon's blade. Yeah, that's. It should just be won by Lina. That's just how it, how it should be. And it's also how it goes. I should just make sure that he don't die and at level 6 watch out a little bit more maybe before level 6. Try to get a rotation in support if possible. I doubt that will happen. And yeah, this is important to do if Milan can get the room but they're actually also rotating him with 2 already on basically or not. Yeah, so let's try to get the Baron room though. With double damage for Lina, that's actually not normally all that scary but... And make the difference here if he yes, fair, make it, can get a stun off, and yeah, exactly because of that. I don't think he will get a stun without any help on Slash Strike, but if he does, then that just could be an easy kill. That will be a misplay of Slash Strike. But yeah. he should know that there is a DD on the, <laughs> on the rise that's... Actually, the lanes are pretty quiet right now. It's only a matter of time, I would say. Yeah. I want to say um, no wants to slow down the game as much as possible. My Santa just wants to speed it up. Yep. Because, yeah, they have no one that can win the game versus Medusa. I really like the lane position, though, by Mind Santa. I mean, they don't just put a partner offlane because, well, all alone he would definitely definitely die. But they do realize that they should be able to uh, lock down a top lane Beastmaster only with um, with an Earthshaker who can also do some pulling and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, Gogi is left to farm the lane without any contests. So Milan is helping out his partner here in the, in the bottom lane, and just because of the uh, Nether Ward, actually a really good counter. Oh okay. well, I might die here now, but then again, living armor, not yeah. enough maybe. Ooh, oh, the charges. Ah, oh. oh, good place. <laughs> I like yeah. this. One of my favorite items in the whole game is a stick. I almost always get it. Yeah. 
Doesn't matter what I play, I always get a stick. It's, it's so good. The Apex Pro point. Uh, this Nether Ward actually up against uh, the Skyra and Zeus support. That is kind of the one hard counter that prohibits them from actually uh, doing this all the time, what they did now to Pagna. Yeah. As Slash Rack does end up dying down here, what? It's just, uh, what is it? La Laguna Blade pretty much just kills. Okay. That's the level 6 I'm talking about. Level 6 is. He has to look out so much more. But Ranger Slave just Laguna Blade is already, I would say, almost enough damage to kill him. Do the math on that. That's 450 magic damage plus 320. It's quite a bit. And he has. Ah, uh, not, not enough, but. That, yeah. yeah, you're always arresting him already, so. And he got a mango. Yummy, yummy. Always. How many such as fruits? We'll see when he uses this, and that's kind of important. He actually has a quite low bottom pool, so I don't really dislike the item. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> That can definitely help you out, even though you already have the bottle. I mean, sometimes you just need this insta, insta burst of mana. That's when you're harassed and. Yeah, with his lowest mana, heroes is always. But Dragon Breath every time, oh, Flash Frag gets, actually gets to kill the Beastmaster? Without the. Uh, yeah. Without Grizzine being there. That's not what should have happened. Yeah, we keep missing these kills because yeah. they shouldn't happen that way. <laughs> no. It's not even our fault. Like, you don't expect them to do that, like... Yeah. The only way for Goki to kill someone is essentially to hit him with Split Earth. And you should see the gas animation for Split Earth. Stun, but there's a turn around here, snap back with the ultimate form. And yeah, follow-up stun from Grizzine. Should be enough, but Mind Control comes in. Looking for revenge, but the axe is not quite enough to bring down Slash Strike, so he should be able to get away. Unless he's being blocked by some creeps, but that was not the case. Man. Yeah, this time around, Grizzin was there in time with the rotation. He tried it before, but it was just a little bit too late, I think. Yeah, he was still walking there once, uh, once Slash was already dead. But it was yeah. just too late. Now he's there. That's a good thing they do have. They can just also instantly burst down the Lina with low HP pool. And Grizzin, he's going a little bit man mode on my control. Is he going to dive this? No, for real, it's going to be TP in. Grizzin doesn't have anything to stun him down. And DK is still in his ultimate form. Did they buff that? What's a 60 second duration? I believe it was 45 it? before. Yeah, it was much lower. Yeah. It's been slowed down by the board, so it's just gonna serve for that. Ooh, Ooh dumpster player arrives back here. If they can get some sort of disable, but they have the roar now. They have a slow mind control, but... He's already underneath this tower. They, w they won't dive there. That's the dangerous. We're going for an early mech, I assume. It's not... What is it? Now you can also build, but I had you build the Vladimir's offering, but that would be fairly odd. This early. Yeah. I mean, it's... Unless, unless you want to farm the jungle or want to push really quickly with a lot of, lot of creeps and summons, then don't really go for the Vladimir's offering early. I would definitely love to see um, that at some point, though, because it's such, such a good uh, item in the late game. Yeah. Very easy and oh. very cheap to build, and... Oh, bottom lane. Oh my, he's, he got a lot of harassment coming from Pugna. But Nico, baby, he's just manning up versus Milan. Oh, Grazin is there again with the Fissure. Oh, he has, a, he has an invisibility rune on uh, Nico. He still gets hit. Really low. The top tower goes the way of Gobi. Bro is there on him, by the way, as well, but still gets the tower. Oh, yeah, he's actually denied? My bad. I thought he'd cut it. Okay, nice play. A good roar, then. I mean, I have. have to get these kind of little things if you can't really use the raw aggressively in it. Uh, because my sanity is doing a good job just positioning them themselves properly. So my control, without a blink, I don't think he'll be able to get in range of a raw anytime soon unless my sanity want to commit for... Oh, I actually might die here. There's a stun. And yeah, one more right click. We'll do it. Oh, man. Uh, I think Storm, level 4, so freaking strong. Well, how much damage is actually? 60. 4 seconds cool. Oh, but... Just imagine getting like an Octane Core with it, and then it's a 3 seconds uh, cooldown. Yeah. He get 25 life still, so about 60 HP per hit, so... I would love to see an Octane Core, but it, uh, I do expect Bloodstone here. Yeah. That's the usual build. You just need the mana regen from it. Yeah. It's so important on a hero like Left Track. Oh, so man. Oh, middle lane. Got me now, I'm wrapping around here. Not a whole lot you can do at level 4, though. No. He needs to get his overgrowth going. He's showing himself. Purpose? 
going to get ward out there. Or the sentry ward. Look, Rosine is here on bot. I think they're gonna try and make a move onto Nico Baby here. Milan is also rotating in. I'm looking to it. Nico Baby, did not, uh, he now put the value point in the stone gate, so a lot harder to actually get gap now. Yeah, they don't have to lock down now. Not without the DK or Gogi being there. Oh. Bottle on the ground. Uh oh, oh, they're gonna get slash break. There's gonna be the Asian shield on bro. Oh, Laguna Blade does so much damage with that Asian shield. <laughs> he just gets blown up. Oh. And now Gogi get, an, uh, get a free bottle. I guess, <laughs> I guess that's nice. Okay. <laughs> it's Ragnar's bottle, alright. Yeah, yeah. He dropped it on the floor to do the, the fountain uh, trick. In your bottom. <laughs> structures are yeah, okay. He was already dead. He didn't fall into enemy hands, right? <laughs> it was right. The they are moving bots to at least contest the tower, but I think they're already too late. Oh god, Milan. Oh. Milan, he goes out of invisibility! Slowed! Arkin! Oh, Rizzin with the stun. Mm. Might be enough to keep him safe, but they want it. They want more. Uh, oh, Nether Ward is out there. The well, yeah. You need to destroy that. You have so many magic bursts on their team. That the uh, Nether Ward will just completely destroy them. They're gonna lose the middle tower for this. But they chose to do yeah, bot. <laughs> And it's, even it's Dragonite and uh, and Lashrak there, no one to defend. There's absolutely no way that you can save that tower. You do need to send someone top to uh, defend uh, versus my control, but yeah, bot tier one is also going to fall. Yeah, I'm just going to take the trade, I think. Yeah. And you don't only have the Dragonite and Lashrak, you also have a Pugna, so nothing yeah. that we haven't talked about that's even more push. And yeah, yeah. if you manage to keep your towers alive, you do have. Green protector there with, uh, with the healing coming out. Night control should be able to finish us off. Using not more on Milan, but teleport came out. Milan, he uh, can go in if crazy. needs be. There's gonna be yeah. the earth, which was there. The echo slam available. He, he didn't use the echo slam for this, so I think now it's too late. Milan's look out. I Maybe know, he might have been able to get, to get the kill here with Tree and also starting to swing his fist. Uh, yeah, I think that would, would have been a little bit dangerous. I don't know. Middle lane. There's yeah, no one smoked up here, yeah. Flash, but he knows that something's up. He doesn't see anyone on the map, so he's playing very defensively on his own tier 1. Milan oh. might run into them. Oh, he sees them. He's walking up there. He's gonna get Ace and Shield, bring a slave deck. <laughs> and that was the Hawk right there. Yeah. The Hawk gave them vision to get the skills off up, up in the high ground, and that's why Milan wasn't able to get it in this often time. So, already Beastmaster showing his value in that regard as well. Yeah, that's, that's just the, the plays that you can make with him. But you Actually, you don't really have something that's strong to combo up with his Hawk, though. One thing I want to mention. Like, you don't have any BFDs on anybody, and... I think apart from Lina, maybe... Yeah. You won't get BFDs uh, fast on any of your intellect heroes here. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Yeah, they're all TPing in. But the tower has already taken some damage. Pure Evo is really low. Oh, he has his use. Throws up Goggy, he's gonna hit him as well, Ace Shield is there, he does have Laguna, but he doesn't throw it out. He knows he doesn't have enough damage to kill off Goggy with it. And DK is as well, oh Stoneman, he walks in there, Fisher is there as well. Earth Splitter is enough to kill him off, oh no actually, Mitch was able to take the kill. Well they almost get the pounds on the track there, but yeah, with his ultimate going, Arise was taking too much damage to actually contest. And now he has to be careful, he's up against 4 heroes here, not sure he notices. But... And this tower is not long for the world. Arise can't defend this. Uh, yeah, you can throw it to a casual Dragon Slave, but that's really the end of it. There's already the Nether Ward as well. Even if they fight into this, it will take so much damage. Uh, as Radiant, if you're not already in a position to defend it, with you, it's so hard to go up to this high ground and then try and defend this. It's, it's so freaking dangerous. It's also the walk there, it's just too big. Like, you yeah. can't walk like. If you walk like this, you're already too late. Walking like this, they will know you wrap around, so you have to make the whole walk around there. Yeah. And before you have done that, it's already too late, especially for this lineup. But yeah, you're completely right on that one. And they just need to buy time for Medusa, and that's what they're trying to do. He's building in. Scali, I assume, with this point booster? Uh, that's the thing I wanted to touch on. Um, uh, and you mentioned it before as well. I mean, the Medusa in this kind of matter, or in this fighting focus matter, People fighting to see Pugna actually die here, but Gogi looking to turn around maybe. There's another Fisher on Dunson player on Arise. Oh, oh Gogi now. Well, he's, in front, he's in front of the fight, Rock and Anthro. Uh, 
Night Striker Ray. Now Slap Strike finally going to party, but Goldie. Oh, he's not down just yet. Still has Mardle to play with here. Pure Evil throws out one more Arcane Bolt. It's not gonna do the trick. Oh man, those. How did they not kill him there? Man, it's the Bloodstone. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think the Bloodstone together with the Six were just enough in the first HP pool to survive. It was close though. Yeah, oh, man, they man. see Nico. Let's try. Whoever's ultimate in one second, will he pop it? No, he won't. But he will let him walk away. But yeah, you were making a point about Medusa in the f this pushing slash fighting oriented meta. Yeah. Um, especially with the with the draft, the way it's been going. I mean, you already saw the mind saying he was going to go for a same strat. They were going to for a quick push, quick very strong push on three of the heroes, plus a lot of fighting potential early. And then picking Medusa into that, and Medusa is generally a hero that wants to farm, wants to farm a lot, and then at some point just throw over you with being unkillable thanks to mana shield, maybe in ages, plus the stone gaze. But yeah, this raid it's not gonna get to that point. It's gonna be really hard. Oh, to Mitch, find he said. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was just very simple duels into Asian Seal, Laguna Blade. Well, not yeah. Laguna Blade, but Pinnacle's Wrath. So they at least had to commit one ultimate for it, but I don't think they even had to do that. I think they could have done it without. But they just want to make sure there won't be any follow up from uh, my Senate. Lift the Laguna Blade, they will. Maybe we'll lift the wrap around. There you go. Once again. Actually, yeah. Uh, is going to Lightning Strike away? Oh no. They see Doggy behind it and they just straight up go away. And a Glimmer Cape! <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, we still have Cape there. That's a uh, new no item that we saw today. Yeah, that's something new. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I haven't played with it myself because I read through it and was like, I can see where the use of it can be, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, do you want it? I don't know. No, well, we'll it, see it's it pretty now. damn cheap. Um, if you want it on the track, I'm not entirely sure. Not 100% sure. It's more of a support item, I would say, but it can help you get out of the trouble, not just because of the inverse, but also because of the insane amount of magic resistance that it gives you when applied. 66% and up against all oh, Medusa. He just I wants to go all to it here. He can get a good ultimate off if they get can get the ultimate in play, but it's already too late. Look at the certain Vizzy just looking at him. He's not even I don't think he uh, even noticed this. <laughs> that was underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. You think like now yeah, MOA once again in position to just push high ground. Like what's gonna stop them now? Oh yeah. They will try to stop with the entire lineup of the U, but then it goes red. Yeah, it doesn't do anything right now because lightning strike already missed on slash strike. And that's your turn to Probably a bit, one of the big ultimates down. Together with another big ultimate, of course, Stone Gaze. Like, how are you going to defend now? You, you do still have the chance to maybe blow someone up. But it's not going to be Slash Strike. It's, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be Gohi. As oh. crazy as that sounds. But yeah, he's using the Glimmer Cape offensively here. Just using that for the magical resistance. And that means that he, he can't really be bursting down if he's on top of that. Oh. And if they go into no, no, somebody no. else, he can just give it to them. Oh, yeah. the Splitter is gonna hit with the Fissure! They are over on the other side, so Slash Strike can't get to them. Who there as well. There's gonna be the... Oh man, all this damage going, all the magical damage. It wasn't enough to Glimmer Cave to save Gogi there. Oh man. It's like a really good double stun here from Reason, but then the roll was there. Final lockdown Gogi without that magic resistance. And another Fissure oh, wow. Echo! They go in again, Minecraft is gonna take the fall. Next one is gonna be the Lina. That is a rise, and now they're looking for Nico, baby. He's gonna get a little bit of mana back here. He has a... Oh, he's getting nethered. I was sorry, wondering if he was having a ghost scepter. And it will go for him now. Mana shield is gone, but now it will take a whole lot of damage. Pure Evil, however, is back. Are they able to turn this one around and slash? Mm, yes, they are. Goki, however, is still alive. I think they used some buybacks here. Yeah, they did. Arise is running away from Goki now. He can't get close to him. This is gonna be too dangerous. And yeah, he's gonna die for this. Close. Oh this God. is still going! <laughs> Pure Evil <laughs> dies now! Michael's roll! You have to look out there as well. Look at Gogan, it's still going. Then it is down as well. Such long team fight already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what's happening anymore. But yeah, the end result is Gogan still alive. And yeah, Parkland is still alive now. Nico getting caught out. Much. Oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna die now. In, but oh, he's taking so much counter damage here. Hey, this is... There's a buyback now. How many buybacks are cool? One, uh -huh. two, three buybacks actually. Now here, Aurora. Oh no. Well, he uses it on Milan, but it wasn't enough. Milan has to look out. Oh, there's the lightning bolt. Well, that's okay. It's <laughs> a Dream Protector going down after all. So yeah, for oh, they didn't get the Rex though. Really, range Rex are almost down. Yep. Really, Rex about half, and they will regenerate up. You think they're looking for something sneaky here? Just go back in after they 
Regen up a little bit. I saw the mango usage. Good. It looks like it in yeah, Punara dropping all of his inventory down on the ground to get more of the more bottle charges. So yeah, they want to want to keep going here. They will find pure evil. He's pretty much dead. Slow down by the the Krupify. a little bit of magic damage now. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, they would. They don't need the magic damage to kill him up there in the right place. <laughs> This is looking like it's gonna be a fast game if they can just push down these wrecks again. I don't think BU will tap out because of course they have to lose. If, 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 if they can hold on, if they can hold on. Oh, oh, Slash Rake wow. taking almost no damage from all this magic because of the Glimmer Cape. That's gonna be the death of Arise. Go Gogi's just manning up versus Nico Bay, taking a Mystic Flare in the face, doesn't even glimpse about it. This is gonna be the wrecks down. That'll be the wrecks, Medusa down for the count. It's die back here, minute down. And yeah, they, they don't have to stop here. They still have another opening here on the tier, uh, on tier 3 bottom. Gonna take that down like it's like it's nobody's business here with, with the edicts, uh, the Corsair Wrap as well as another <coughs> another boss. They want to use it. But... Our Grazine gets close to pure evil now. They still want to keep him back, but it's not going to be enough. Or is no. it? Pure evil still alive for the time being, man. That's essentially a raw wasted for your support. That will yeah. still die to the fuck <laughs> another ward. Oh. At least they get one kill back. I hear an overgrowth keeping everybody away from the Rex. Well, they can just keep on going for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a cute play and it, it's giving them a range Rex at least. They no, don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't and give a fuck. No, almost a deny coming out from a rise. <laughs> it's a spy deny. And it's GG that's well played. <laughs> that, was, that was essentially a 5 minute team fight or so. Before the GG was called. Two rags down, yeah, basically unknown. That Medusa just takes so much long, so long to get online. That I think with the games that we've been seeing, especially with this draft from my insanity once again, quick push, quick team fight. It was uh, would would have been really hard for the rest of the team for basically unknown to um, keep my insanity busy enough so that Medusa can farm all she needs. But th the thing is with uh, creep kills being worth less now and hero kills being worth more. Medusa isn't exactly the hero killing variety. It's just I don't I don't know how it will fit in this meta though. And keep, if you keep on fighting like this, he's not gonna fit anyway. Yes, you're already snowballing, but then you've used another. But yeah, that was actually it for this match uh, between uh, my and basically unknown. My Sentry took the win away, and we'll go now go to basically you know versus Dusa Gaming. It should be up fairly soon. Or we might have a nine minute break. Yes, we have a nine minute break before this match starts. I'll put on some music and I hope to see you guys again then. I will also answer some questions in the chat because I have been standing. So, so, yeah, Dragon, you got anything left to say? Uh, not yet. Okay. Except for following me on Twitter at DragonDropDota, hashtag shameless plug. It's fine, you're also in the Dragon. You're also putting <laughs> shameless on the. The Twitch chat from every plan is working. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay, that's it for us then. We'll see you guys later.